What's going on, good people? Before we get into today's episode, we got to shout out our sponsor, Cultivate Real Estate. If you're in the ATL, you're thinking about trying to buy a house, you're looking to rent, you got questions, you want to consult it, whatever it is, hit them up. And I'm going to be honest with you here. If you're like, I don't know, I don't know if this is my time, even if you're not fully ready, still reach out. It's true. And if income may be a thing, it's about asking a question. They work with all income levels and partner with tons of down payment assistance, right? Get you some money, get you some help, get you a house. Check out Cultivate Real Estate on Instagram. Slide into those DMs and they'd be happy to help you. Let them know that Summoner with the Sumners sent you their way and get you a house. Let's get into this week's episode. What's going on, good people? Welcome back. Another episode, Sum It Up with the Summoners. I'm Damon. And Katoya. You know what it is. Yep, yep. And this is a good one here. We're getting into, and this is all about our parenting style. Mm. How we parent. Mm. That's right. And those three little people. Mm-hmm. And so, we're trying to keep alive. Disclaimer, if you do not have any children, this episode is still for you. Yeah, it is. All right? Whether you want kids or you don't want kids, I think you should have just going to enjoy us for 30 minutes. Yeah, I think so. I you know so. somebody who got some kids who either do this, don't do it, do it, whatever. What and you're like, you know what? You know how you listen to a sermon. I think we said this before. before. And you just be like, oh, that's, mm, a, no, that's, that's a good word for some. That's just in this. So you, and, they, and that's what you do. Because I like a sermon where they like, hey, that was for you. You trying to think about somebody else? No, I'm saying it could be for you, but go ahead and share that mm-hmm. with somebody else. So don't forget to share. And as always, thank you so much for your support. Thanks for chiming back in today. You faithful people, you. We appreciate you so much. Yeah. And uh, I want to get into a review because we love hearing your words, Absolutely. right? Um, and our review today comes from Mystical Dark Sharp B. Mm. Man. Mystical Dark Shark B. Yeah, I just really want to unpack that. Ooh. But I feel like I need Mystical Dark Shark B. Shake it fast. Get <laughs> <laughs> it with a mic in my hand. To really help me out, to understand that best. But that's okay. Because it's five stars. Five stars. Titled Sum It Up. Mm-hmm. A1 Couple. Massive knowledge. Great people skills. Wonderful people. And information. We, we did not pay them to write that. Come on. But they Mystical did. Dark Shark B. Hey, come on! I just I just ended this whole episode with a new swag because yeah, of that title. Your username got me lit. <laughs> 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 no, we appreciate it. I mean, seriously, taking the time. It's the difference between someone liking your post and somebody commenting on your mm, post. Mm-hmm. So thanks for your review. Right, we can all just hit a couple stars, but just leave your words means so much. So we really appreciate that. Definitely, we appreciate everybody else who continue to. Or checking us out on YouTube. If you didn't know we have a YouTube channel, we've got the full videos uh, there. So subscribe for that. Yep. Also consider uh, joining our private Facebook group. We're having a lot of fun over there. And of course, we would love for you to consider joining us on Patreon. Right now we've got uh, several bonus episodes. We just did two. Uh, drop those recently bonus episodes. We were supposed to talk about. We were supposed to talk <laughs> about yeah. hobbies. Yeah. And then we fell into talking social media and grammar. We mm. had a lot of fun. So bonus if you want to talk a little bit about that, well then <laughs> come on over to Patreon and Check have some out, fun for sure. Content, oh, content good. all the time. I'm trying to connect with y'all. Um, so it's there. Yeah. Join us. Do it. Let's get into it. So we don't often talk about as Katoya has said about specifically parents. She's like, let me just keep going to the parenting. So this week, and more than likely next week, we're going to get into just kind of a little bit more breaking down our parenting style, how we parent, right? Right. Uh, because... Well, go ahead. No, go ahead. I was just going to say, well, because you know, parenting, um, I think to a, a high degree, is a combination not only of two people coming together, but also two people's backgrounds. And we'll kind of share a little more details about what they look like for our upbringing. Because you bring all of that to the table and be like, all right, what do you think about this? Yeah, we say that all the time. We talk about two people coming together with such differences and trying to make it work together. But the main thing is that you're working together and you're combining now what works for you in your mm-hmm. home. So mm-hmm. you got this past and come together and you're like, how are we going to move forward in our future? I just made that up. Mm, that was good. That was good. <laughs> anyway, so um, I uh, something about parenting. I had a thought there for a minute, and I lost it. You yeah, weren't thinking about okay. that for a second. No worries. Let's I got move you. on into it. Here's one of the biggest things we know about parenting. Here, you are not raising children. 
Mm. You're raising future adults. Mm. Like, it's just, it's really a reality. You're not raising children. You're raising future adults because sooner or later, they're going to be out your house. Sooner or later, they're going to be able to make their own decisions with their own money. And it's going to hopefully be a good part is going to be because of the parenting that you poured, the love you poured in, the wisdom you tried to pour into them here. But they're not going to be with you forever. And that person who cut you off in traffic, that's somebody failed. Somebody failed. Right there with that. That bad customer service, some mama failed. Right? That lame-o at the work who don't ever give you enough space, that's a dad who failed. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Everybody who He sucked. knows I disagree with that. That is so rude. I that was not. a hyperbole. That was too, too But you much. understand what I'm saying. I yes, it is, we are raising adults and you do you know, but it is true because you know you go back <laughs> somebody start doing so you be like, Who? How was you raised? How was you, what's your upbringing? <laughs> it is a wait, what something went wrong. Yeah. But it's not fully true because I mean many things didn't always go right in my own upbringing, Facts. but Very I true. but I was carried yes, by yes, the grace yes. of the Lord, and I think I'm a pretty decent human being. So you know I say that to say because it does feel I mean you know moms feel a lot of pressure. I don't know about dads, but moms just be like, "Who Lord like it's been, oh Lord forbid you be a stay at home mom." Now you're like, "Oh my gosh, my entire life is built to these children," and then they start acting crazy, and you're like, "Oh my gosh, this is all I've worked." In, in in some ways. So children do. They just pull at your hearts where it's like, I'm investing everything I have here for you to be great one day, so you need to be great. That's what I need. I need you to and be great. And that is very, that's, that's a lot of pressure on poor children too, but it also really makes us think about what we kind of present to them today. Because mm. I think that's what matters. Like, I don't know how my kids are going to turn out. I think I'm doing, I think we're doing a good job. I think so. But only time will really think tell. so. And honestly... You know, they're going to just make their own decisions regardless of what I taught them mm. at some point anyway, mm. right? And so, it's just, it's scary. I mean, I was making a face earlier before I called back into attention to Damien was calling people failures. <laughs> uh, but I was just thinking about how scared I am, y'all. We had a whole night the other night. Um just reminiscing mm. and i was like oh my gosh oh yeah, yeah i yeah. am so scared yeah of what, like we were reminiscing children. about our actions as, as we were growing up middle school and high school early 20s and we we're just like "Ooh!" i literally had tears ooh. i'm scared of like where they could go but right, it's right. like all about the raising and hoping that you're raising like these future adults and like quality kids yeah. who think for themselves move forward with clear conscience mm -hmm. Make good choices. All of that. And this is how, and here are some ways that we, we try yeah. to instill that today. We can only say what has worked for 11 and under. That's what we're talking about. And hopefully those things <laughs> are the foundation as they move older. You know, those are kids. If you listen to this and you don't know anything about our family, we have three children. Mission, he is our oldest. Our only son, he's 11. Then you have Liv Eden. She is six. That's our oldest daughter. And then you have Ever Grace. She is four. And so those are, let's team something right there, baby. Team something to file. Yeah. That's uh, them. So let's let's dig into it here. We're let's gonna do it. just talk about a few things and how our style and we'll share a little bit maybe of our past as well. Yeah. And dig into it. Uh, let's start with one discipline. Let's just jump right into it here. Yeah. That's an important one. Um, uh, you know, for us, we've done a variety of things based off of kids. Like just, just because our kids aren't the same. It ain't just cookie cutter. Mm -hmm. uh, and then also age, right? So things that are age appropriate. One thing that I think when we talk about discipline that we do a great job with is having like discussion on the, the mistake, on the action that happened, right? So mm. I'm just trying to think of something off the top of my head. But let's just say somebody didn't follow through with a decision. Somebody did not follow instructions. That's a small thing, but that's a big thing. Because that to me comes off as just blank disrespect. Right? I'm not going to do what you told me to do. Boom. Right? Mm -hmm. And so now you, uh, which also probably ties into you losing some type of uh, activity and or privilege, if you will, or something that you may want to do. Uh, and so now we've got to have a discussion. It's not going to, we have tried, and let me know if you feel like we, not true. We have tried to have a discussion about what you did, dig a little deeper into about why you did it. Then also flip on the back side, like, okay, well, let's say this tries to happen again. How can we talk about making a better decision again? And just trying to help them verbally process what they did as a thinker, as a problem solver. And so that's one thing that when we talk about discipline, 
And you may be like, well, that, that sounds like this. It is, right, it is. Like, so the privilege is going to be taken away, whatever. But also this time, this lecture, as somebody might call it old school, is this, this processing of their actions. Right. You know, I, you know, we've talked about it, but I've, I always communicated as a kid. I mean, I was trying to communicate. Well, I thought this because, well, I did this because, like, let me, let me share a little bit about where I came from so you can understand. I don't know. You, do you always share that they are asking you to communicate? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no one asked me to communicate. I almost forced my parents to listen to me because I always communicated. It mm. was like, girl, be quiet. Mm. I don't want to hear that. But after they, they, they did learn, mm. I think, to try to respond that I needed to be heard. Got it. Um, and I also had to understand that not every time was the time for me to talk. Say that. But I tried my best because I, I, it, I, I'm pretty sure it was a lot of the, I said, don't do it, don't do it. Mm. But I just was like, but wait, I have more that I might need to communicate about that. Mm. That's a little black. And white. <laughs> and white. And I got a little gray space that I need to communicate. So, I, so coming into our parenting, mm. Allowing children to have a voice is, is important, right? You don't want to shut them down to where they just have to agree with everything, but giving them an opportunity to process and discuss and think logically about it. So, and I've always said, you know, I probably have said on here before, I mean, don't hold me accountable. I don't know everything I say. You can always run it back, right? But being a teacher has made me a better parent. And so we went through a lot of conscious discipline, which was like a, um, philosophy of teaching and practices of logical consequences, natural consequences, and just kind of putting the, making the brain work for children um, and in their decision making. And we've adopted a lot of that into our own discipline and parenting, which is this kind of concept of let's discuss it. Right. What are your plans for next time? This is something that's going to happen, but what steps do you take? Right. And that made me think about what I was going to say earlier. I was going to say, we don't have any like really cool lingo on different philosophies of parenting. Nope, this is just the way the summoners do it. This is it. <laughs> this, is it. this is it. Well, following the philosophy of, no, nah, check out somebody else's podcast for that. Mm -hmm. This is just, we've lived. Sharing our experiences. Is, and hopefully if you can yeah. take a nugget or two, if it's helpful for you. Boom, that's what we want. That's it. I just want to throw that out there. That's what I was going to say earlier. Really, like, hey, hey, I'm not coming just, to you with no, no whole bunch of stuff. No slides. experts. No, just this has worked for us. Bam. Yeah, Check. So that's that part. For sure. Another part to that, too, is like the discussion of the mm. verbal, but then also the reflection, right? Mm. So sometimes, you know, too much discussion happens. Too much. Right? And we're like, you know what? How about instead of talking about this in this moment, you go and write and reflect or draw a picture mm. or... Um, just go and like say what what happened and what can happen differently. Like okay, that's seriously the two questions, and that's transferable to all ages. All ages. Your four year old can say, draw a picture of them trying to hit somebody with a mad face, and then over here, hands down, happy face, right? Like, and then give them opportunity to to share, you know, their thoughts. But we have that reflection ranging from all three of them. Um, it's mostly happened primarily with Mission um, because he needs that. And he he also does not like to write out his feelings. Um, and none of them want to be isolated um, from everyone. So that's always like a just go sit by yourself, reflect by writing, and then let's just discuss it after that we've kind of processed. Listen, it. as adults, we could do some more reflecting, right? You know, okay. and just... When something happens here, sometimes we can be too hasty, right? Go straight to uh, Instagram and, and just blurb out on it. Uh -oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. take a beat. Was that you? Take a boot. <laughs> Keep that in the drafts. Come at it tomorrow. You know. Uh, I think another thing that we've tried to continue to work on is uh, two things. One, like trying to work, not experts, on staying calm mm. and keeping the tone. And now, yeah, listen here. We, you know, sometimes we might. Sometimes he being kind. He's yeah. pretty good. It's me. I'd be like, sit down. No, no you didn't. And then I'd be like, you know what? Hey, um, <laughs> earlier I yelled at you, and I'm and I Listen, apologize. Here's a okay. That here's is a, true. Here's a here's a here's an extra nugget here. I didn't have, we didn't have this on the bullet mm -hmm. points. Just another thing. We have been. I feel like I'm gonna speak for us. I feel like we got two chong horn. Some. I feel like we've done a better job. We've continued to grow in normalizing us as parents, right? As leaders of our house apologizing to our kids. I'm not going to talk a ton on it here. Um, there was something I had watched on it once 
and if they did a great job of expounding, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to tell you, like, I think we think it's important for a few different reasons. Oh, yeah. And the kids have uh, seen adults make mistakes. They see that we're not perfect. They see that. Uh, and we kind of, again, in the process, talk about why we also are apologizing, why it's important for them to apologize and ask for forgiveness, things like that. So when you said that, I just want to put it in there. No, we didn't put that. And that is important, I think, in discipline. I think. It brings back like humanity. My parents could do no wrong. When That's I what up. I thought. I thought my. We, I mean, maybe you I didn't well. agree with that. <laughs> yes. But that was like. That was kind of the umbrella. Yeah. Right. What like, I said is golden, and there is no opportunity for wiggle. Boom. And it was like. Uh, okay. And hence me trying to discuss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, actually. <laughs> if you would take a look. Yeah, I, I mean, there's a fine line because sure. mission tests the waters a lot, and I'm like, boy, if you don't just shut your mouth. I feel like right I, now. <laughs> every time we've apologized, I feel like it's been valid. Oh yeah, yeah, right? yeah. yeah. I mean, oh, the apologies have been valid, of yes, course. I'm, I'm just saying, saying like, like it, there is a line, though. You know. Yes. Oh, I'm not sure. trying to be like, oh, the children run the house. No. Oh my gosh. No, no, no. never. Um, but, but they do, do you, you do have to learn how to love them individually mm -hmm. and see what works for which one, mm -hmm. you know? And so there are moments that, yeah, we are not calm. And in order to teach them to stay calm, you have to do it. And if you fail as a parent, because we are going to, because we're mm -hmm. people, then we all, I feel that we owe them an apology for our poor choices in that moment. Now, don't get twisted. I'll say, Hey, I'm so sorry that I yelled at you. I was just really frustrated because I continued to ask you that and you hadn't done it. Is there anything you'd like to say to me? <laughs> <laughs> hey, this apology. I apologize, but... Oh, so at the same time... I really think you got something else to say, too. You should be saying something to me. Okay. All right. And they, and they responded very well to that. And no one's been rude to be like, Mom, do you think you should apologize to me? You know? I but know somebody would. I know, right? I'm just trying to say, like, I know for a staunch, like, the parent is right type of, you know, Person. people. Uh, you know, you might be like, oh, y'all doing too much. But it's been... You ain't always right. Yeah. Stop it. Like... Yeah, it's just not. The, and, I, and I think it just allows for some... Parents are not always right. Parents are people. We put we put parents way up here. Mm, and there's, parents are people. Parents are people. Like, <laughs> like you gonna be, you gonna mess up. You you got a, a bachelor's yeah. in theater. Like settle down, big dog. Settle down. All yeah. right. And so anyway, that I just want to throw that caveat in yeah. because I think it's important. Yeah. Another thing that we really try to think through is always. I think we got this from school too as teachers. Yeah. Uh, the small, medium, big. Right. And so it's just like, is this a small problem? Is this a medium problem? Is this a big problem? Yeah. And like, I think today, this morning, before we got here to recording time, uh, one of our daughters had uh, a small problem turn into a enormous problem. And so it impacted, it impacted her day. And so trying to continue to give them that mindset, to keep that in perspective. Again, this is going to happen in real life too. All right, I'm negative in my accounts. It's a small problem, <laughs> medium problem, or large problem. Big. <laughs> it depends, <laughs> right? But what you gonna do about what it? Do about it. The, re the the reality with small, medium, and big is so what? How do you respond? To how it? do you respond? If this is small, then we don't need a big reaction. No. Nope. If this is medium, then we talk about you need more. to know who you need to talk to and not just be quiet about it or whatever. If it's a big problem. It's an emergency. Right. We really need to Bring resolve. Bring us into it. it. Right, right. Small problems really shouldn't get to us many nope, times. Nope, shouldn't even be me. Don't that should right. be, can you stop hitting me? I don't like, I don't like it when mm -hmm. you do this. Can you not? Boom. Can you keep your hands to yourself? Sorry about that. Sorry, sis. Is Moving on. Boom. So just, ooh, Lord, what a, re it's such a responsibility. And it's something that kids really need to be able to do is to speak to the problem that they, especially siblings mm -hmm. in pandemic, mm -hmm. Lord Jesus, mm -hmm. spending so much time together. It's insane. Yes. <laughs> I had eye blinks for those of you listening. But it is. And so you know what I'm saying if you have kids. And so you need them to be able to resolve small issues independently. Mm -hmm. And then um, like just quantify the experience. What yeah. is the problem here? Yeah. Did mom and dad need to be in here? Do we need to scream, yell, and shout? Do I just need to accept your apology? Right. right? Um, another thing that we do... It's a lot of discipline. We had no idea we'd be talking this long on discipline. <laughs> we did. <laughs> but these are things that really do work in our home, and um, I hope they can be helpful for you guys. But um, addressing emotions. Mm. I have no problem with my kids' emotions, right? Mm. Oh, I'm so sad. You know, like, think about the classic, it's time to go. Mm -hmm. 
Oh. At a friend's house or just anywhere? So anywhere. Be? Hey, I know you really want to be here. Time is up. We got to go. It's what? Gigs, we got to leave right now? Missions is, Mom, just let me get one more. Let me just do one more. Let me do one more. And then... Liv is pretty chill most of the like, time. I'm, She's I'm like, it's ready. time to go. I'm, I'm, ready to I'm home. actually ready to go home Please. and relax. Please, I want to get and into then... some soft pants <laughs> in my robe. I'm ready. It's so true. That middle child. Liv was like, whatever, it's time to go. No problem. I've been ready. And then everybody be like, but I don't want to leave, right? And so I'm like, okay, you're sad. Mm. We get that. No problem. I would be sad too if I had to leave my friends. But what we cannot do is scream to the top of our lungs because we're sad. You can cry, you can stay calm, you can be sad, but we cannot explode because now you have impacted everybody else for a small problem. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. just putting that into perspective and allowing them to, I, I felt like, I love my parents, but I felt like my emotions were not appropriate. I, I, I couldn't, it was a, you shouldn't be really doing all of that mm -hmm. at any time. You know, mm -hmm. no one ever said like, hey, I get it. I mean, I don't want to say no one. I don't want to just blanket statement them, but I don't remember many times where they were like, hey, I know you're sad, Katoya. <laughs> they were like, girl, stop being sad. <laughs> she said that today. I, when I go through this and my mom is on the phone with my kids, she's like, oh, I ain't got time to be doing all of that. So I know she didn't do it. I know she didn't do it. And I darn sure know my grandparents didn't do it. And my dad was not much of a disciplinarian. Really? Surprisingly, no. Huh. My dad wanted to be the good guy. Ah, so he was guy. not the disciplinarian. No, I mean, he would occasionally be like, Toy, sit down. Now, I ain't going to say it. You know, I must have really got on his nerves, but he must have been really frustrated. Uh -huh. And I probably was with him too long that day. That day. But for the most part, like, I, I can barely, my dad never tapped me really that I can really recall. He might have really? thumped me a couple of times. The only he girl. Would, he would raise his voice a little bit sometimes, but he was not the disciplinarian. So my mom had to take the brunt of that a mm. lot. And she was just kind of like, a, I ain't got time for all that. But mm. she was, you know, she I appealed to her over time with my words and my overexpression. Mm. But I do think it's good. Just be, the kids, could, they need that. They, the emotions are valid. The emotions are valid. And you should address them. You got to. You know. <laughs> Listen, well, two things. We're going to let you inside our world for a half a second, break down this fourth wall. We have 49. We got like 62. We have like 107 bullet points <laughs> on this Google Doc here about what we're going to talk about in this episode of two. And so I'll say this. We're, we're in no rush to get to all of those because we can always do a part two. Uh, or three. Or, or, or four. four. <laughs> but I'm glad that we realized that because Damien would be like, I don't even want to talk about your kids. That's not it. That's not it. I'm just saying well, everybody ain't got kids. It's true. Uh, everybody it's, ain't in a relationship. That's true, too. We appreciate you listening anyway. <laughs> what I will say, because you brought up a couple interesting pieces, especially based off of your childhood. It's interesting It's interesting in a relationship with children because there's got to be some give and take. Yeah. Like, let's go big f philosophy for a second here. Mm -hmm. When you're talking about parenting, because, again, we're coming in in your way and my way in the sense of how we were brought up yeah. we both feel had some pros mm -hmm. and some cons and so we've had to figure that out so as we're talking about discipline today which maybe don't think we talk about for these last yeah, whatever of, minutes when we're talking about it has to be important because like for myself you know primarily single mom great you know still good relationship with my dad even in their aspects it was different right and so like my mom we weren't going to talk about nothing and it was you know she was you know she was everything right living with her and three boys and so, but she was, a, she, my mom is like five foot two on her tippy toes. She's quiet and he's like, she's chill. Right. But then like she never raised her voice. Mm. Right. But I also, all love, all respect here. We also, as a family did not, we didn't talk about anything. So I want to, I, I can't even honestly remember what emotions I may have had about stuff. Maybe because I felt like pity, pity, pity. <laughs> I just maybe, as the about old, that. maybe because I was the oldest boy, oldest son, oldest kid. And it was just like, yo, I just got to. I just got to do. I don't know if I'm upset or I'm sad or I'm disappointed. I can't go outside. Am I frustrated? I can't get to see my friends. Am I mad? Oh, they got some new shoes and I didn't get nothing for Christmas. I don't know what emotions I had. I just know mm. all love, just but facts, that it, it, it wasn't an environment that really was cultivated so that I could, I, I could express my emotions. And maybe it was, and I don't remember it, but I do not remember being like, hey, Listen, I'm sad. Yeah. You know, you want to talk about it? Yeah. Can I talk about it? Or my brothers, really. And for better or for worse, I feel like I'm doing all right as a person now. But you it are. matters. Yeah. And I mean, uh, we could pivot this entire episode. So we just were a guest um, on another podcast. And they were like, do you guys 
plan out everything. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we put it all down, but where our conversation goes is, right. uh, is it just depends. And I would, I think I'm just going to call it, we're going to stick to discipline because I think it means hearing you say that, like, mm. cause it brings back into the relationship. Oh, yeah. 100%. That's yeah. what you just said, right? Like how we're coming from these two different dynamics. So I think it's something good to just assess if you want children, how are you do have children and you and your spouse ain't on quite on the same page. Like what, how were you raised? Because this is how we interact together mm-hmm. a little bit mm-hmm. too. Mm-hmm. I am always expressing my emotions. Mm-hmm. I am always talking. I'm mm-hmm. always wanting feedback. Mm-hmm. I am a verbal processor. Damon is like, I'm like, Hey, are you okay? <laughs> you good? You mm-hmm. mad? You're angry. I'm fine. <laughs> Everything's always he's fine. I'm fine. No matter what. I feel like my childhood. Yes. <laughs> no, seriously. I sat here and listened to you like, dang, that's I'm today. Fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you are a great human. I'm a great human. Like right. I think, yes, we fared well, but right. it's something to bring that back to the forefront to mm-hmm. say, oh man, you know, like, and, and it's heavy because you think like as a parent, we have the ability to shape mm. our children's like long term yeah, like self-esteem, things self-worth. that you don't even know yeah. that you do right them. yeah that subconscious tier two type stuff yeah right it yeah. makes i mean temperament all that stuff yes like all or that. just screaming and yelling I, i've said it before in my house we oh that escalated volume are you kidding <laughs> small medium big oh it was just big all day <laughs> i mean we were yelling and calling names and mm. like that's something we do not allow in our home i mean now yelling of course they're gonna get in louder volume and we're like you need to bring that down we do not talk to each other i mean it even goes to the point of when we're watching movies and I do not know what is going on with movies, but every movie has these siblings and mm. they just bicker Ooh. and the name call. And we just are saying, Ooh, that's not nice, is it? Mm. They're not using really good words. Mm. I mean, even Miss is like, Dang, that's how they talk? Wow, that's some big, like, moron, you idiot. And we're just like, Dude, <laughs> goodness gracious. And so I think it's actually really good for our kids to be like, Man, we do not say that to each other. And they ever be like, I love you, Mission. <laughs> <laughs> I actually feel a little bit more love right now because no one's doing that. But you come from these different backgrounds. And, I mean, as I look at us now and hearing that, we still operate so much in mm. kind of that that space that we grew up in. Yeah. You you know, as a parent, on the primary under their house in a typical format, let me lay all the barriers down. Let's say they leave your house at 21. Let's just say that. And let's say they live till 90. <laughs> right, like you, you know, so like you've got, and, and, and really, they don't really have the memories until like four or five. Really, so you've only got so much time to try your best to instill wisdom and characters and and hope and whatever principles and values you want into them. And then you're like, all right, listen, go, you know, do you, you know, if things are working well in life, go, go, be free and live off of the wisdom and things I hopefully gave you to be that person. Right. Like, so it's so important to validate the emotion. It's so important for us to continue to think about what we're doing because it's, it's the, it's long game. We're playing a future long adults. game as a parent, right? You're helping them as in their future adults. That's too, it. Right. And you said that it made me think about like, we have 10 more years remission, you know, but then it's like, you have 10 more years with them under your roof. But under your roof. How valuable have my, have my parents been right. outside of that? For sure. And even with maybe rocky or moments in our, in my childhood, because they're still there for me mm-hmm. when I'm going through as an adult, mm-hmm. whether I really listened to what they said or not, they were there to listen, there to give the feedback. And mm-hmm. if I failed, there to support. Sure. And if I succeeded, there to root me on. And that is the long term, like... That's the relationship that we want to see with our children long term. Will it work? I don't know. But, you know, like, I'm hoping that all of these values and principles that we believe in, that we will continue to share, will really give them a good foundation of, like, family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. I agree with all of that. I think one thing, uh, you know, I was going to make a phrase, and I don't really know what the phrase is or means. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say the phrase now. And then spend ten seconds thinking about it. I was gonna say, <laughs> I was gonna say we would be remiss. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just gonna be honest with y'all. I don't, don't use, you use that. I don't use that word remiss in by itself. Like, hey man, we need to go to a remiss. I don't know what that word really means. 
What I'm going to say is, we <laughs> use all the time, we don't know what we're doing. I think we should <laughs> also talk about, uh, and I know for myself specifically, it was an important piece. We talk about discipline, mm. and if you're talking about uh, specifically, and to a degree, a generalized fashion, the physicality of discipline, right? Um, you tapping, you getting a belt, you getting that switch. Listen, just for myself, <laughs> my mom, my dad, I know for sure, I can count on one hand because they were, they were that level. My dad wolfed me five times tops. He had names for his belts. I think I've already said this. Five times tops. That's all I needed. Um, but my dad also, side note, just really quick, also was more of a communicator. Like, let's talk about it a little bit more, right? So that's one. Boom. My mom, um, you know, it was like, listen, I mean, I can't, it, mom's fantastic. Yeah, I can't, I can't tell you. I got a lot. There, there's a lot. There's a lot. <laughs> Uh, you know what I'm saying? And, and you're probably relating to this from racetracks to hangers to switches to belts to race extension tracks. cords, whatever's close. To say that. I did 100% meant the old school racetracks. Some people know what I'm talking about. Hit me in the DMs, comments with it's okay. That. I'm not gonna judge her. She's a wonderful woman, wonderful today. person today. <laughs> Anna, amazing. Loretta, anyway. So, for us, well, let me just pause on you. Physical, you said your dad wasn't disciplinary. My dad like thumped me and pinched me occasionally, oh, cool. Good which pinch. is like, yeah, I mean, it, it was like. You know, jarring, <laughs> oh, wait, but it wait. wasn't. You know, my mom definitely popped more and tapped. Uh, we had my my, my grandmother, uh, the late Medea, who oh I love so dearly. Which oh. I'm excited to say I love her so dearly. The fact that she whipped my ass. <laughs> <up to her. laughs> I thank you, Medea. I'm glad I can love you. But no, she. I do. I, I miss her yeah. dearly. So she gave you the most pound she for gave, pound whooping. Yes, yeah, we was over there um, in the As summer, a kid, being and loud, with a switch running and around the house. Go get your switch. It was but that. But your mom never thing. gave you a full on whooping. No, no, I got whoopings. My oh, mom okay. with belts, uh -huh, and uh -huh. uh, yeah, I got whoopings. Yeah. And we're not gonna talk about the. Um, we ran out of time. This is good. Go ahead. Oh dang! Shoot. Go the, ahead. Um, the real problem I have with I used to get disciplined in elementary school. Physically. Uh, physically. With yes. paddles. That was a real thing. I am 33, and that happened in my life. And um, some of my teachers. On knuckles. No, I, I, I on wrist? Really on my tap, on my arm. Ooh. I got bent over and paddled. Damn man. Remember, I don't remember that. You just said it. I'm just I saying, it was, I think it's a little dramatic. And it, a I, little. I'm, glad, I'm glad it's over. I would never give anyone permission to do it to me. Because your mom, your parents had to give you permission. Yeah, had to give them permission. It was tough. And I, I mean, some of those teachers mm. are my Facebook friends today. <laughs> Do not make that a clip. <laughs> That's a hundred percent a clip. This is a this is a hundred percent a real. <laughs> you say it on the podcast, more people are gonna listen to the podcast. Listen, they were real. just doing what it was supposed to do. And, that, and that's the caveat. Just say that person. They too. just that's what the culture was. That's what the culture was. It was the raise the village type yes. of thing. They probably also gave me a coat, gave me food, All of that. candy. It was All a holistic thing. holistic thing. But like when I think about it, now, yeah, I'm like, mm. and as a parent today, absolutely not. But yes, I did get whoopings as a child, and we do pop our children if needed. Okay. Really? They, like they, cause they, they've learned that it's... Because we go through all these other options. Yes. First. The, anything physical comes all the way at the end. Or if I've had to talk to you now like six times about the same problem. <laughs> and, and, and when we play we pop like, I'm like, you know. It's literally our hand. hand I've never used a... Hand. I've never used an object or anything, but I definitely right, right. have hand tap, which means I'm sharing in your pain. <laughs> My fingers sting too. Yeah, yeah. We don't. We, we, we literally only. We gotta get out of this. It's been a good time. I, know, I no. hope you've enjoyed this. No. Um, <laughs> but uh, Say this, focus on the time. No, because I, I don't cut us off. Yeah. No, uh, but yeah, physical physical is at the end of a long, hopefully well done rope. Uh, and also just age wise, it also it fades out. It yeah. fades out because hopefully what we've been building into oh, you. Yeah. Continues to be a point that matters now more. Now you can really reason. You know, I feel like taps are sometimes because you don't understand anything else. Like, it's hot. Don't go over there. Like, don't step. You yeah, you know. Or don't step in that street. Right, right. You have to kind of jar yeah. back in that way. But, you know, that's the last option for us. But I'm not saying that I'm, you know, I I, I do think it, it comes with discussion if you're going to start tapping. Because you don't want to equate physical right, right, right. with, you know, consequence. As, as a team, you got to discuss what that means looks like in both ends. So, right. we might have to do a bonus to talk more through that here because we sped up on it at the end. Here. I know. But, uh, Ooh. I know. So good. Yeah, I mean, we can this get a really... couple more minutes on it if we need to. We might. But hopefully, uh, this was all discipline. 
Our parenting style, we might just do this all February and just talk about parenting in February. What do you think about that? Maybe. We're just talking out loud right now. Yeah, we're planning with it. you guys. Let us know what you think. <laughs> Let hey, us know what you think. Give us the next bit on parenting. But discipline, I'm glad it was the first one because it is real, right? I mean, just trying to raise these kids. So. Trying to raise them up. As always, we appreciate the support. As always, thank y'all so much for listening. Check us out on everything. Subscribe to the episodes on Apple and Google and all iTunes. Let's watch us on YouTube. You know what it is. Consider joining us. We got bonus episodes out there on Patreon. Damon Couture. We sum it up. We'll see y'all next time.